I've been a real estate agent for like six years now, and I've paid tens of thousands of dollars for real estate coaching. And it wasn't until several years into the business where I completely realized how much money I was losing, how much time I was wasting, until I really changed the way I think about what productivity really is. And chances are you're making the same mistake. So today I wanted to go over exactly what happened in my life, what happened in my business that made me realize this, how you could potentially be making the same mistakes and exactly how to fix this. And if you can fix these things, this is gonna directly result in doing more transactions, making more money um, to do the things that you wanna do, invest in real estate properties, fund your lifestyle, pay for your family, whatever. Sometimes I'll be having conversations with my agents and they'll just be unhappy with where they're at transaction wise. They're just not happy with how much money they're making. And I asked them, well, what did you, what did you do today? What did you do yesterday? What did you do the day before? And they'll basically tell me that, uh, well, they were watching YouTube videos in the morning. Then they worked on designing their open house flyers on Canva. And then they were doing this and that and cooking food and walking their dog. And then maybe they uh, door knocked or cold called for two hours in the afternoon. Hearing that you can pinpoint exactly where they're going wrong because the thing that results in transactions, the direct thing that results in them making more money is that two hours they did of door knocking or cold calling, lead generating. They did two hours of that. And that lead generation is ex directly linked to how much money you make in this business. So if you're not spending a lot of time lead generating, then you're probably not making much money in this business. You probably don't have that many clients. You you can't, there's no way, because you're not spending time lead generating. And so the agent will tell me a little more about like how productive they are being. In their mind, they think they're being productive. And I, I you know, to their credit, sure. They're getting things done, but they're not prioritizing the right things. They're not prioritizing making money, which is the lead generation. I remember a few years ago with my real estate coach, um, I'd be having a conversation with him. I'm, I'm like, dude, I am not doing enough transactions. And so he asked me how, 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 many, how many hours am I dialing a day? How many hours am I focused on lead generation? And I was like, three? And he's like, there's 16 hours in the day, dude. What are you doing for the other 13 hours? And I was like, dude, I don't know. I have no idea how I'm spending my time. And then he drilled into me, hey man, you cannot expect to make money if you are, if you are fueling your business with three hours of lead generation. If all you're doing is putting three hours of lead generation into your business, then you're gonna go end up working for someone else eight hours a day. And I'm like, dang, I, that put things into such a perspective that I've never thought about before. Think about it in your business. How much time are you spending generating leads, growing your business? Two hours a day, zero hours a day. Some people, I know some of you are doing zero hours a day, but think about how much you're doing. How can you expect to make money in this business with two hours a day of lead generation when there's 16 hours a day? you will eventually be forced to spend 40 hours a week working for someone else. And until you change this, you are not going to make any money in this business. What's your alternative? Wait for referrals? How's that been going? And why would anyone trust you to give you referrals if you can't even work on your business? So you need to assess what you think productivity is. It's not about filling your time up with like doing things. It's about lead generating. That's the most important thing you could be doing with your time as a real estate agent. Lead generation is the fuel for your real estate business. This is you finding clients, finding opportunities to get in front of to convince them that they should be your client. If there's none of this, you cannot make any money. So how do you change this? Well, first of all, you need to figure out what your main form of lead generation is going to be like 90% of the time. For me, it's cold calling. It's super easy to do. I just have to sit in my office and just make dials all day. For you, it could be door knocking. It could be open houses. It could be uh, internet leads, whatever you want to do, as long as it's getting yourself in front of a buyer or a seller constantly and, and in a controllable, consistent manner every single day. Once you figure out your form of lead generation, you need to figure out what your schedule is going to be. 
So there's a guy named Greg Harrelson who is like one of the biggest agents in the world. And he does like, he and his Century 21 companies that he owns, he does about like 4,000 transactions a year. And what he says is from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. is a non-negotiable lead generation time every single day. From 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., you should only be lead generating. That's it. After 11, you can go get lunch, take care of your admin work, like contract stuff, TC stuff, but keep that short because at noon, 1, 2 p.m., you need to come back and continue lead generating or following up. And all this is to set appointments. You need to set an appointment to go on. You need to go meet these clients, meet these opportunities, meet the leads that you're generating. And if you don't have appointments to go on, then you need to go back to lead generating and following up to set an appointment until you have an appointment to go on. Basically from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. with little breaks in between for food and bathroom and whatever you need to take care of, it should be lead generation and follow up until you have an appointment to go on in the afternoon. After 8 p.m., which is like, that's the cutoff for when it's socially acceptable to call someone. After that, that's when you should be working on like your email, writing out your email drip sequences or, um, or designing your open house flyers or designing your Canva business cards or watching YouTube videos on how to do whatever. That's when you should be doing those things, after hours. During, during work hours, when it's socially acceptable to be calling people, you should be calling people. In fact, like if you, I, I tell my agents, if your phone isn't running, then you're not making money. If you're new and you don't know like exactly what to say, just go take action. Because at least, at least you're getting further and learning through trial and error. Instead of like, oh, wait, I need to spend two hours watching this video and then maybe not even take any action that day or the next day. Because a lot of people in reality, they use this YouTube content as a crutch. They're like, oh, yeah, well, I, sh I, I know I should be cold calling. I know I should be door knocking. I know I should be doing open houses, but I just think I need to watch this video to, to learn a little more. And that is a terrible excuse to not attempt to do things. So don't don't do that. Prioritize lead generation. Prioritize getting in front of potential clients to be able to talk to them and convince them to work with you. So that's one of the biggest realizations I've had about productivity that skyrocketed my production, which is actually just one leg of like the two or three things that you need in the business. Lead generation is number one. Conversion rate, which is your multiplier, your ability, your likelihood of convincing someone to work with you is the conversion rate. This is extremely important and this is something that I harp on in the Conversion Academy. So I recommend you go check that out. If you like this video, follow me at Mr. Aaron Yoon on Instagram and I'll see you in the next video.